Obviously you have dreams about reaching milestones as a young player, but obviously I didn't. Just thankful for my support from my family, um, my wife and kids and mum and dad and the rest of my community back home in WA and also my teammates and, and the coaches here that have definitely helped me grow the, as a player but then also as a person. Yeah, uh, Bunbury, uh, two hours and a bit south of Perth and on the, on the beach and um, a lot of uh, a big community, a lot of, a lot of family and friends and I think I was five when uh, I cried to my mum and dad to, to put me in the odds kick. Miller's the long target, Jetta ready but hits the floor, it does hit the floor and he was ready. Nice. Goes to Pendlebury, oh Jetta! Yes! They like a bit of high flying action. Um, yeah, so before the draft we didn't know if we're going to be drafted at all, Terry Troth, I was hopeful. But um, yeah, you don't really know until you actually get picked so we didn't have no internet at home at all. No Fox Hill so we actually couldn't watch the draft at all. And, um, I remember getting a phone call from Cameron Schwab at the time and then Aaron Davey to tell me that I'm yeah, drafted the Melbourne Footy Club and pretty exciting time. Oh, it's an exhaustive setup, but eventually Neville Jenner has it got the distance it has. This time he's going to have a shot himself. Oh it's yeah! Back. It's coming back. It's through. So I'll probably look back about uh, end 2013. And I probably lost a bit of passion for footy and with the way the club was at at the time, and probably still didn't want to play footy anymore. And that was probably yeah a turning point. And had a lot of conversation with mum and dad and, and Sam, and just said okay, we're going to be put back on the rookie list, so I'm going to have to give one more shot at it and uh, just try and enjoy that year that I was going to be on the rookie list and whatever happened, happened and yeah, thankful that it did happen the way it did. I wanted to continue my career but if it wasn't going to be best for me and Sam and, and Alani, then um, I probably wouldn't have kept going or pursued my career because family comes first with me and yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they were happy with my decision and, and not just me being selfish when that they can be when you're, when you're an AFL footballer. So their support was unbelievable and, and gave me the passion that I needed to have to be able to get back in and, and give it my all. Really uh, proud of what I'll be able to achieve but obviously not satisfied. It was just a hundred if I can yeah, push on and, and, and uh, yeah, keep playing good footy and keep being consistent and um, do my bit for the team. Yeah, it's, it's definitely sort of humbling to be able to be seen as a consistent um, performer and but also come back to the coaches and, and the players believing in me and I get a big, big kick out that, that guys trust me out in the field and um, to be able to grow up in a, a tight knit community uh, and real close family um, definitely shaped me to be the person I am today and um, yeah, I'm just trying to do my best, not only for my kids now but the, the rest of the community that I live in as well.